guys, Crafty Christy here with a tutorial. Um, this is going to be for Beth Graves. She is she had reached a I believe it was a year anniversary on YouTube. So she is asking that we send paper. Uh, could just be as simple as a little piece or a punch out or whatever. Um, because she is going to decoupage a box and it's going to be kind of like a time capsule. And then if you'd like to send her something, whether it be a card or just a little hello note, whatever you want to send, she's going to put those all inside. And then a year from now, she is going to revisit the, excuse me, revisit the time capsule, which I thought was awesome because a lot can change in a year. So we could all be doing some crazy craft or some of us, unfortunately, may not still be on YouTube. I plan on being, so I hope you do too as well. <laughs> So I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry. You also have, I believe, to the 30th to get everything in. So Beth, I hope you like this. If you want to watch, if not, just go ahead and turn it off till after you see what's coming. But this is what I'm going to do. I made these. Um, if I got that frame. I made these little mason jars. And I have seen many people use punches or whatnot. Well, I didn't have a mason jar punch, so I used my Wear Memory Keepers envelope punch board for those. But for her, bleh, for her box, for inside her box, I wanted to send one, but I wanted to send um, one that opens so I can write my message inside. So instead of taking like a 9 by 13 sheet or whatever, well, and of course now I can't find it, um, I did a 6 by 6 I have this pack. I'm not sure where I got it, but it's a 6 by 6 um, pack of paper. It's like this thick, and there's all different kinds, but they're mainly like colors like fall colors. And since fall's right around the corner, I'm going to do a fall one. And what I did was your final piece is going to be 3 by 4 and a half. And I cut them out at 3 by four and a half but this back piece you see I flapped over so it would open up to five and just folded it scored it and folded it down a half inch and that's not going to affect it so let's get started you'll need if you're going to make a card you're going to need a big enough piece of paper that's going to be eight inches this way no I'm sorry nine by three or you can just do like I said these right here were just one piece of paper and you can write the note on the back. And then you're also going to need, make sure I measure this out right, one and five eighths. I believe it's a three quarters inch. Yeah. And you can either crimp it back and forth to get those jar looking shapes, or I use this. Thing. I got it on clearance at Walmart one day for like two bucks. It's the little Fiskars crimper. So that's what I did for that. Now let's get started. I'm not going to worry about this piece right now. That'll come in a minute. So take it and you'll see a score right here. Because this is what's going to be your guideline. And you want to put your piece of paper right between this S and C. Simple enough. Got one thing. We are going to round the edge on the bottom. I have. Well, I'm not going to do it right now. You just stick it in there around the bottom. It's going to look like a dog. I have another size, but we're just going to use this for now. I think it's. We're not going to mess with the top right now. Okay, I'm going to line it up between the S and the C and put it up underneath your score guide right there. And you're just going to put it where you can't see no more of the C. Just don't punch it. Make. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about the camera shaking. I got this hooked up to my table. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so then you're going to flip it over. 
and you're going to do the same thing. <laughs> okay, I don't like how this one didn't go in all the way. I didn't have it pushed up far enough, so I'm just going to go back, same spot, make sure it's pushed up, and punch it in. Ugh. Okay, so now they're even. I know what I, well, if you have one of these, you know there's a punch out in the back that you can round the edges. Same thing. There's no difference. Okay. So we are done with that. Now, you decide which is the front and the back. So this is going to be my front. Fall is my favorite time of the year, so this paper was perfect. Plus, it's going to look like you got bubble gum or balls or whatever inside. Okay. Then, all you're going to do, and don't worry about these edges right now, we're going to glue the top of the door onto this. Just pull out some handy dandy, whatever glue you want to use. My dog is working, so they must see a rabbit or cat or something. Sorry, I'm just making sure I get this really good into the grooves. And what I like to do is even put a little bit right here. Okay. So you just take this, find, find where you want to put it, because it has to be even with the top. And then center it. And I'm doing this through my camera, so I'm having Just a little more. Why is it when you're doing a project, the glue never wants to stick to hold it long enough? Or it does when you're not on camera. This is why I have a hard time doing tutorials because it seems like everything goes wrong. Okay, enough of my morning grazing. <laughs> I woke up for another day, so God bless. I'm okay. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. So, that is your lid and as you can see it kind of flattened out but it's okay. All you want to do is just take and cut this flush with the paper with your lid. Excuse me. Like I said I can't cut straight for nothing unless I'm using the trimmer. And that's it. Now I wasn't thinking about it. I probably will go ahead since I'm doing a double um, side. I'll go ahead and do another backing here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I just, I had another piece. I didn't realize it was cut exactly to size, but it worked out perfect. So I just glued it onto the back. And you can see now I have a little mason. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so I got some shit. Okay. A minute. And that is your jar. So simple. And then I've got it, like I said, into what opens up as a card. So I'm going to let this kind of dry a little bit before I mess with it anymore. You can decorate the front. Since I use this pattern paper on these single pages, I didn't really do anything yet. I send it to someone specific and maybe I put their name up here or, you know, here's a recipe. Maybe write a recipe on the back. Um, make it look more old-fashioned. I just tied some, uh, well, this <laughs> Frankfurt. Anyways, to get it to... Um, My camera it turned upside down on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, part of the video might be upside down. I'm not sure. But anyways, twine. That's what it is. I just tied it 
around and I put um, a little drop of glue underneath to hold it down and it's pretty much other than that open. For this, I'll probably do the same thing and then write her note inside. Like you said, I said, it's not perfect. I'll trim this down. But other than that, that is my little jar that's going to go into the time capsule. So I hope you didn't talk your ear off, guys. Hope you're having a blessed day. I know it's early for us on the East Coast. So have a wonderful day, guys. And God bless. And until next time, bye.